My people, my tribe, my name is Zentaro and welcome back to Zentaro Perspective. And today you join me in none other than Beach Hella Lounge, the best destination to be during your quarantine. Now, obviously, I can't just be here holidaying and not give you the effective tools to get through your quarantine period. So what I'm gonna do, you're probably wondering that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you five tips on how you can survive as a creative during this quarantine period. Tip number one is simple. Stop entertaining and start learning. What I mean by that is during this quarantine period, you have all the time to watch Netflix, watch Amazon Prime, play PlayStation, even read comics all day if you want. And that's all well and good when you're having chill time. But as a creative, you want to be stimulating your creative juices all the time. Take online courses, take YouTube tutorials, for example. I've been doing a couple of After Effects YouTube tutorials and I made this bad boy. Take something up. You might learn something. Tip number two, relationships. During this quarantine period, you need to be working on all your relationships. What's the most important thing you should be doing right now as a creative? Flooding the internet with all your creativity. Right now, everybody's on their phones. They don't know what to do. They're bored as hell. What better thing for them to do than to look at all your content? Make sure you're working on your relationships, DMing everybody you either wanted to collaborate with before and didn't get a chance to, or even your regular collaborators. Share each other's work, work on big projects together whilst you're at home, and then flood the internet with them. Your relationships will determine in how far this quarantine period will affect your business. Strong relationships means that your content creation will remain strong, your creativity will remain strong, and ultimately, you will remain strong. So work on your relationships. Tip number three is social media, specifically using social media to your advantage. Let's be real, in today's world, social media is the doorway to a plethora of possibilities. And during this quarantine, it will be the one thing that can allow you to, for example, overcome creator's block because there's just so many artists and other types of creatives on that platform who can help you get out of creator's block and instill some creative juices for you but also you can meet new collaborators set some plans up from after the quarantine let's just have faith and be positive that the quarantine is going to end soon but jump on instagram not just instagram go on tiktok all of these platforms and use it to your advantage make new relationships look for new creators who inspire you and even just go overboard and just find new platforms you can promote your work through because that'll give you access to a new audience use social media to your advantage not just scrolling for booty pics tip number four establish a routine You'll remember this tip from the previous video but it definitely is a major tip for this video all the previous tips I told you, they're only going to be able to be effective if they are part of tip number four. Establish a routine, give your day some structure. I'm not going to babble on about everything I talked about in the previous video. Just know tip number four is the important step of establishing a routine. The fifth and final tip, my people, is to know when to rest. I think often as creators, when we have a lot of free time like this, we tend to go overboard on work and start working the graveyard shift. I'm talking about those super duper late nights and starting the day the next afternoon, which isn't great, which is why tip number four is very important. But tip number five, all about knowing when to rest, knowing when to rejuvenate, because ultimately our body needs what it needs. We need to rest in order to re-strategize, give the brain a bit of rest, and then we can attack the project however many hours later, or even on the next day. And that's all for today, folks. I just wanted to give you those five quick tips for my fellow creatives. I think they apply whether you're creative or not, really. But I just wanted to make it specific to people like myself or who might want to go into creative industries or just people who are just creative in general. 
because I feel like that's part, a big part of this community. This is a Torah perspective community. And also, I wanted to know, I filmed this video at 60 frames per second, which I want to be the ongoing frame rate. I want to be filming these kind of Zintara perspective episodes of the journey. 60 frames per second, how does it look? Some of you may not even notice the difference. In which case, I, I suppose it doesn't really matter for you, some of you guys. But those of you that do notice the difference, let me know in the comments if you like this new look. This slightly different look. But yes, people. Hope you're all staying indoors. I'm not going to cram on about it. We've all heard the news. We all watch the news. I'll catch you in the next video. Yeah. Babe. Imagine there's this couple casually having a barbecue outside. Yeah, right outside, across the street. Time to call the police and pretend that I didn't see nothing.